we are going to be doing yet another review in the list of springtime reviews for knives in general. So with this review we're going to be talking about the Topps MSK or Mini Scandi Knife. And as always guys, before we get into this, please do not forget to comment, like, share, and subscribe to see more awesome wilderness Alaskan EDC fun awesomeness that's all over the place. Anyways guys, as always, let's get into this. So like I said today, we're going to be talking about this little guy here, the Topps MSK Survival is the particular model of this one. And the Survival just denotes that it's a tan, tan Sarah coat on it or like a tan uh, paint coat on it. I'm not exactly sure what they put. And then it has black micarta handles with red micarta liners on it so that is this knife and i gotta be honest i have been seriously impressed with this knife as i'm talking i'm gonna roll in quite a bit of b-roll footage here to show you guys the performance on this knife and just how awesome it is not just in an edc uh, format but also how awesome it is in just a survival bushcraft outdoor setup and i think that this knife honestly uh, performs very well in both of those capacities especially being a little neck knife just a knife you can throw on your neck and kind of forget about it and just how ro rock it around and really not worry about it that much so first off I have to say that I did buy this knife kind of on a whim because some of my uh, subscribers recommended I check this knife out in particular and I was like okay I'll check it out because I do like tops knives and this one <clears throat> like I said I thought it could potentially be a good knife so I was like okay I'll check it out and I have to say when I got it in hand it has been quite an awesome little blade I have to say that the performance on it is very good uh, the Scandi grind performs very well at opening boxes peeling apples or you know like doing stuff with fruits cutting them up and stuff like that and it also works really good in a survival situation or setting in an outdoors type of setting for skinning game animals it makes a very good um, kind of caping knife because you can get so close up on the edge and you have a lot of control over where your blade is and plus you also have a very sharp tip that allows you as you guys can see there hopefully uh, that allows you to start insertion cuts into like when you start cutting open or skinning a game animal it allows you to insert the blade in and once again that fine dexterity that you have over the blade allows it to be very good and capable at skinning game animals and I kind of now have gotten to the point where for skinning game animals I like these smaller knives because they're very dexterous and you can kind of just get in there and do the exact precision cuts that you actually want to on the animal and so that's why I really like these kind of smaller knives for caping and skinning so anyways other than that it also is good at doing feather sticks and your kind of basic bushcraft stuff notching and feather stick work obviously this is not going to be a batoning huge like batoning through huge pieces of wood splitting up your firewood for the night kind of thing that is not this knife's intentions but this knife is rather designed to be a good little guy that is meant to pair well I think in the outdoors at least it's meant to be a really good companion knife and in fact this knife was originally designed for the Topps Fieldcraft to be its kind of companion knife but of course with companion knives you can use them in more than just one area so <clears throat> overall I really do enjoy this knife as far as the negatives go and I know the Scandi Trekker kind of addresses this so I don't want to get too on this negative because I know the top or that Topps the company has already addressed this but I will say the finger space and I have medium hands the finger space is a little bit uh, lacking and this is definitely more of a three and a half finger knife so my pinky is on here about halfway that's why if you guys noticed I added a little um, lanyard to it to give my pinky that last bit of traction because especially when my thumbs up here on the back of the spine my pinky is pretty much slipping off you guys can see right there it's pretty much slipping off now if I do hold it like this my pinky's more on the handle like that you guys can see but uh, it's still really like like really close there so that's probably about my only negative but at the same time that's not a huge negative complaint because I really enjoy the small lightweight and uh, tiny form factor that this knife has in addition to this as I talked about in my browse blade silent soldier review I actually one of my gripes with that knife is that the retention on the kydex sheath was not really there and that can make it a little bit of a hazard whereas with this knife it's very different you can instantly tell this knife you need a good little pop 
to get it out of its sheath. And so this is a very firmly reta retained knife. And so it's not just gonna jiggle out of its uh, sheath until you give it a nice little firm pop. And when you give it that nice little firm pop, it comes right out. So I really enjoy the sheath on this and I like how simple the sheath is on this knife. Very simple and very easy to use. You have this large kind of area for docking the blade in. So if you're coming in at kind of like an angle like this, you can kind of find the hole, get it in there and snap it in. So I like that too about the sheath. Overall though, this knife is just very well put together. It's another great tops knife. And hopefully you guys have enjoyed this little bit of a different review. I'm trying to do these reviews faster and give you guys the information a little bit quicker. So anyways guys, that's all for now. Uh, I really do enjoy this knife and definitely look forward to using it more this summer. And as always guys, God bless and I'm out.